Hey church, my name is John Brace Girdle and I head up the business ministry at Audacious Church and we are in a season on a month of prayer and fasting and I just want to encourage you today um, with this devotional. So we're in the middle of a, a short course uh, in the business ministry based on Neil Smith's book, Think Like a King. Here's a copy. We've got some copies available, so if you want to touch base with me, I can get you one. And um, the book is aimed at, you know, especially at business people, um, to understand their God-given purpose and to operate in it. You know, some people think as a business person, I'm called to, uh, you know, make money, um, maybe send the money into church and let the church then do the ministry and, and use the money for to advance the kingdom of God. But... You know, we are called, business people are called into the ministry of business. And that means we've got to be influential in business, in our sphere of influence, uh, whatever God has placed us into. We've got to be influential and, you know, we we employ people. We see, um, we want to see the redemptive work of Christ throughout our businesses. So we want to look after people, pay people well, provide excellence and do a good job and, and do a good service. And, you know, that's all part of um, being uh, a good influencer for the kingdom of God. So Neil's book, it, it, uh, it helps us to be an influence by teaching us to think like a king. And in 1 Peter 2 verse 9, the Bible tells us that we are chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvellous light. You know, our queen, our queen Elizabeth, she doesn't, she has a, a royal mindset. She doesn't worry about what she's going to wear or what she's going to eat. She's, she's, she's royalty. These things are, are taken care of. You know, I think she'll she'll think more about a service and a, a lineage and a legacy. And, uh, you know, she knows who she is and also what it requires to, to do her duty. You know, the Queen's resources are vast and she, she won't put any limitations on what she wants to achieve. You know, we need to think like a king, think like royalty. So we need to know who we are in Christ and live in the revelation that we are equipped with intelligence, wisdom, skills and creativity to reach cities and nations. That's what the Bible wants us to do. The Bible instructs us to preach the gospel and disciple the nations. So we need to be people who dream big dreams, know that God's not just the God of, uh, has, has got the resources of a king. He's got the resources of the, the king of kings. So we can achieve and go and beyond everything that he, he wants for us and everything he wants us to do in our life. He's equipped us to do it. So I've, I've got three areas I want us to pray into. So number one, you know, um, as business people, I want us to think and start dreaming more like kings. That we know that God's got resource, so that we can dream to big dreams that knowing that we've got the resources of heaven at, at our disposal so we can become influences to reach and change our nation number two i also want us to kind of foundationally know that as royalty royalty doesn't they don't chase stuff they know who they are you know as business people as as the business community it's it's so easy to think that we've got to we've got to chase the next deal. We've got to chase the next part of growth of our business. We, it's so easy to, you know, neglect our friends, family. It's so easy to neglect church. We can easily start chasing influence and 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 and, and stature. But what we need to do is we actually need to to chase the King of Kings. We need to. Look at Matthew 6 verse 33 and it says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given you as well. I want to encourage us and I want us to pray into the for the business community that we seek God. 
and then let him give us what we actually need. And prayer point three, I want us as royalty, we, you know, you, when you're born into royalty, you still need to wait for your time to become king. And sometimes God wants us to be patient and to grow in wisdom and stature. He's always working. He's always doing something inside you, even if you can't see it. So as the business community, you might already have a business and you might have an idea of another business or you might be working with somebody and you've got an idea that you just want to explode out onto the scene, but for some reason it's not happening. I just want us to pray into that, that season where you're growing, you're developing, that um, you're developing patience. And as you seek him, I want us to pray that um, that God will open the doors, that God will supernaturally make the shift so you absolutely know that he's involved and he's going to be all over it, blessing it into the future and, and for the generations to come. You know, it's our mandate that we give all the glory back to him. And I, I just want to um, just close by just thanking him, never stop thanking him and, you know, to him who is able to do immeasurably, immeasurably more than we can ask, think of, imagine. So church, thanks for, the, thanks for listening. I hope you're encouraged. Please pray into them points and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.